Hello everyone, let's take a look at what's changed in patch 4.2 of Hearthstone. We'll look at mechanic changes and bug fixes, then at new bugs, then at unfixed bugs, and finally at unintuitive but unlikely to change interactions. So the video doesn't take forever, I'll focus only on common gameplay bugs and changes. First, mechanic changes. Mechanic change number one. The secrets related to playing a minion, mirror entity, sacred trial, snipe, and repentance have had their card text changed to use after instead of when. This is a major clarity improvement as these secrets trigger after the minion enters play and after its battle cry has resolved. For more information, check out our previous video, Battle Cries Resolve After the Minion Enters Play. Mechanic change number two. The Lord Jaraxxus vs Sacred Trial interaction is finally fixed. Now Lord Jaraxxus dies a Sacred Trial if played onto a board of three or more minions, as intended. If you play Lord Jaraxxus onto a board of two or less minions, Sacred Trial will not trigger. This is intended as all the other secrets related to playing a minion trigger on Lord Jaraxxus the hero. Mechanic change number 3. The Enrage bug has finally been fixed. During patch 4.0 to 4.1, Enrage effects would not function if the minion's attack was direct set, such as by Crazed Alchemist or Aldor Peacekeeper, and the minion was later enraged. Now, they work fine. Mechanic change number 4. The Force Death Phase mechanic has changed. Free spells and triggers, Poison Seeds, Reincarnate and Mimiron's Head used to kill the minions and resolve their death rattles before continuing with the spell or trigger's effect. For example, casting Poison Seeds with an explosive sheep out would detonate it before the treants were summoned. But in patch 4.2, the explosive sheep's death rattle waits until the treants are summoned and kills them. Reincarnate has changed to Melody. Reincarnating an explosive sheep now additionally kills the new explosive sheep, giving you a 4 damage board clear. This change was unintentional, and the Blizzard devs are currently reviewing it. Depending on player feedback, this change may be kept, or it may be reverted. Mechanic change 5. Master of Ceremonies is no longer buffed by your opponent having a jungle moonkin. Your own jungle moonkins still buff your Master of Ceremonies. Mechanic change 6. The Scarab from Obsidian Destroyer is now a beast. I'm not sure if this will ever make a difference, but a fixed bug is a fixed bug. Now for some new bugs in patch 4.2. Bug 1. When your Mimiron's head triggers a summon Voltron, if one of the minions uses Clockwork Gnome or Mechanical Yeti, then the client will hang just as the transformation finishes. The client hanging means that it is waiting for an animation to finish that never will, while the game continues on the server, so you must disconnect and reconnect to continue playing. This bug is a side effect of the change to force death phase timing. Bug 2. If a Dalaran Aspirant or a minion buffed by Ancient Mage is stolen, the original controller will still have the spell damage bonus. However, a minion buffed by Valence Chosen works correctly. Huh? Let's demonstrate that a minion buffed by Valence Chosen, then stolen, correctly transfers the spell damage bonus. Let's demonstrate that a minion buffed by Ancient Mage, then stolen, does not transfer its spell damage bonus, like Dalaran Aspirant. Bug free. If you have a minion buffed with Valence Chosen and play a Master of Ceremonies, its battle cry won't activate. Dalaran Aspirant and Ancient Mage buffed minions work fine, however. Now, let's look at the most common bugs that have yet to be fixed. Old bug 1, the charge minion bug, which was added in patch 3.1. If you click on a minion, at a very specific timing after playing it, it will become uninteractable until you disconnect and reconnect. Notice that the timing of the click in both of these videos is the same. In fact, it doesn't even have to be a charge minion. If you interact with a newly played minion in any way, such as to use fire blast on an explosive sheep you just played, you can trigger the bug. Just wait an extra second, and this bug will never happen to you. Old bug 2, the floating card hang bug, which is as old as Hearthstone itself. Sometimes when your opponent uses a draw effect, and immediately plays the drawn card, it will reveal what it is, but it will remain stuck. This is caused by seeing extremely specific timing, and since network latency, CPU speed, and the speed at which the server do updates affect what your opponent sees, it is impossible to deliberately exploit this on ladder. 
In fact, this bug is so rare that it has never once been reproduced on purpose, so no one knows exactly how the bug works. And just to be clear, this bug is not caused by your internet connection, it is caused by an animation hang. What is an animation hang? It means that the client is waiting for an animation to finish, the played card disappearing, but due to a bug in the client, it never will. Because disconnecting and reconnecting clears animations, it fixes the bug. If you want to help the bug be fixed, there are two things the Blizzard devs need to help reproduce and fuss fix the bug. One, video of the hang starting, not just the card floating indefinitely. And two, output underscore log.txt from a game where the hang occurred. I will put a link in the description for how to turn on logging. Old bug free, the Entomb full board bug. If your board is full, Entomb will shuffle minions into your opponent's deck, not your own. This bug happens because Entomb is currently coded to steal a minion, then shuffle it into its controller's deck. Because your board is full, the steal fails and the minion dies instead. Then it is shuffled into your opponent's deck. Even though the minion did die, a bug causes on death triggers and death rattles to not run, but Kelfizard will still resurrect the minion. Old bug 4, the discover hang. If you choose the discover option the exact moment your turn ends, the client will suffer an animation hang and you must disconnect and reconnect to continue playing. The workaround is to not choose any card and Hearthstone will choose the leftmost one for you. Old bug 5, Effects that check if a minion is mortally wounded, that is, zero or less health, such as Stampeding Kodo, Bouncing Blade, Grim Patron and Freezing Trap, do not also check the Pending Destroy condition, that is, hit by a destroy effect this phase. As a simple example, Brand Bronzebeard plus Stampeding Kodo can choose the same minion twice, but Stampeding Kodo plus Bomb Lobber versus a board of 4 health minions cannot. Now let's look at how Grim Patron works. In this clip, an Imp Gang boss and a Grim Patron exchange damage. The Grim Patron survives it, but is mortally wounded before he can trigger it. This state is correctly checked for, and no new patron is summoned. However, if you play Bouncing Blade on a board of Grim Patrons and Acid Maw, not only will Bouncing Blade continue to hit patrons that have been set pending destroy by Acid Maw's effect, but they will continue to spawn more patrons. This discrepancy between mortally wounded and pending destroy is the root cause of many bugs in Hearthstone. Now, let's take a look at some unintuitive interactions that are said to be working as intended, and may or may not change in the future. Interaction 1. The Mistcaller buffs minions as an on-draw trigger rather than buffing them in your deck. The Sky's Toast has an excellent video on this if you're interested. Interaction 2. Using Entomb on an enemy minion will also Entomb your own Genie of Zephyrs. This interaction is because Genie of Zephyrs checks its condition after the spell resolves. After Entomb resolves, its target is a friendly minion because it's in a friendly zone, your deck. Since the condition is satisfied, Genie will trigger as well. Blizzard is aware that this interaction is unintuitive. I would change Genie of Zephyr's card text to read, after you cast a spell, if it's targeting a friendly minion, cast a copy of it on this one, to make it 100% clear what it is doing. Interaction 3. Brand Bronzebeard plus Echoing Ooze does not create additional extra oozes. The technical reason for this interaction is because Echoing Ooze sets a tag on itself to 1, and setting a tag to 1 twice has no extra effect. Even though Blizzard says that this interaction is intended, it's clearly not intuitive. Maybe it'll fix this one eventually. Interaction 4. Nozdormu plus Curse of a Farm causes your entire turn timer to be taken up by cursed animations. This interaction occurs because the server does not know about animation times. It is too computationally expensive to simulate them, and if the server asks the client how long they're lasting, a modified client could lie and get more time. However, there is a very easy workaround. Simply click on the cursed cards as they appear on screen. Clicking on cards like this dismisses them and ends the animations faster, giving you time back and letting you kill Nozdormu to end the combo. That's everything I wanted to show you. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in Hearthstone's many bugs, we have an excellent issue tracker at the URL that's on screen right now. I'll link it in the description too. You can search for bugs, post additional screenshots and information to them if you have them, and if we're missing a bug outright, feel free to post it if you have screenshot or video proof.